Hello everyone, welcome back to Into the Embrace. Kyle Snow, Chris Miller, Pajodcast Media, yada yada. You fucking... Aloy. Aloha. Yeah. It's... Nope, that's just Ryan. John. It's episode 37, you guys know what's going on already. Holy shit, Chris, can you believe we're on episode 37? Yes. I, I can. That means you put in about at least, 50, at least what, 16 hours into this game now? Yeah, it's assuming that, like, because some of those have gone longer. Yeah, but I would say roughly, though, 15, 16 hours you've been to this game now. Yeah. Oh, perfect. I think this is it. Elizabeth Sobek's office. But it, it's sealed off. There's got to be a way inside. That would be too easy, More wouldn't it, Chris? Clicks. Careful now. Yeah. How did they get ahead of me if I came in through the door? They know some traps, man. They know some areas they can get into. They can probably get in further, man. There's probably exits and entrances further. Yeah, but I thought the whole point of why Aloy had to well, come was There because... also could be people down there for all you know. This dude couldn't get in. Um, silence. Get in. Yeah, but Silence has no permission because Silence is not really a part of the Eclipse. But the Eclipse don't. Welcome to Apollo. How the else are they gone? Memory of the human species and the wellspring of knowledge for future generations. I am Samina Ebaji. Until recently, I was director of the International Collective Memory Institute in New Tehran. As a heritage professional. I devoted my career to the preservation of human knowledge, creative endeavor, and cultural achievement. Apollo is, therefore, the ultimate embodiment of a lifelong passion, albeit under the very worst circumstances imaginable. The challenges before us are immense. Specifically, we will have to design and implement four major initiatives simultaneously. First, the construction of data repositories in cradle facilities around the world ensuring redundancy. Second, the collection and processing of a projected 180 million discrete data entries. All right, I've got like 20 of them. zettabytes of data in Mandarin, English, Spanish, and Arabic. Third, the transferal and encoding of all that data onto DNA encapsulated in synthetic fossils. The only medium capacious and durable enough to safeguard it without degradation for the centuries to come. And last, but not least, the development of the holographic interface and gamified curricula, by which future humans will commune with Apollo, progressively unlocking heuristic learning modules, leveling up their knowledge and skills they will need to take control leveling of the up. terraforming system. That is the future towards which all of our efforts will be directed. Not just the preservation of the past, but the seed for the flourishing of a new tree of knowledge. Welcome, and let us begin. <clears throat> Alright, so Samina Bajabda to Elizabeth Elizabeth Sobek. The winner is encapsulated data. Over the past ten days I performed an exhaustive review of data storage solutions, magnetic, optical, quantum, even that attorney tech that Pharaoh was shilling a year or so ago. But every other solution has one or more fatal shortcomings. Too heavy to transport, too massive to install in the lot of space, too power intensive over the centuries, too prone to failure past 300, 400 years, etc. Capsulated DNA will easily hold the 40 plus zettabytes we're projecting for Apollo. There are still many details to finalize, of course. To start with, we need to like the inert material in which we'll embed the model. He is already testing 16 candidate materials. We'll design to fabricate the system. Power system is a sealed route. We have to keep the DNA at minus 18 degrees Celsius for a thousand plus years. As long as I assure you that I didn't factor in. So long as I assure you that it didn't factor my decision, may I confess I deem it entirely fitting, indeed propitious, that we will be the very building blocks of life to preserve human knowledge from mechanized extinction. It's not just ironic, but heroic. Life as the hero, 
beating back the forces of oblivion. In any case, much to do until next time. Peace be with you, Samina. Thanks, Samina. That's a really nice thought. Samina, again to Elizabeth Sobek. Over the past two months, the full benefit of our procurement of a copy of the Homer Archive from Far Zenith has made itself known, and as a result, all of Apollo's key deliverables are on schedule. Apollo has already surpassed 40 million discrete data entries and continues to grow. The physical science modules are effectively complete with soft science modules close behind. World history, cultural data, and media archives are also on schedule. Language preservation is wrapping up a bit ahead of schedule due to falling short of our goal to preserve 4,500 languages. I suppose the tragic early loss of Papua New Guinea doomed the, that goal from the outset with a 10 curricula development about to begin. Speaking of the heuristic curricula, they are performing well in testing with children and adolescents demonstrating high levels of engagement with and trust in the Aristotle and Aspasia personae. Personally, I find them highly engaging, especially when they when they debate. I wish half my professors had been so entertaining. Peace be with you, Samina. Thanks, Samina. Okay. Maybe I should. I like how this is like a knowledge getting trip, but also like every once in a while I have to stop and just straight up murder some dudes. Yeah, that's pretty common in this game. Like this dude. We didn't have any plans today, sir. Well, as much as I would love to just like blow this dude up, as funny as I think it would be, this also seems pretty funny. 110 damage. Now is the time for strategic withdrawal, because apparently I can't see. I'll just chill out for a bit. Hmm. Off you go. Babs, get off the table. I can't see when you're in front of the TV. There we go. Chris, aren't cats just the best? Nope. Fuck cats. You shouldn't say that. Like, not like no, sexual you're intercourse. Still surprised. <laughs> Point. You could have silent striked him on the uh, ladder Assassin's Creed, so. I didn't realize I had that option. Of course you do. It's basically Assassin's Creed. You know, except not as good as Origins. Oh, yeah, do, do, do I have death from below? I guess I do, don't I? You do. But. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I definitely have death from above. No question. Speaking of death from above, let's get some. Oh, you thought it was good. Oh, man. Too much already. The 
Dr. Sobek, please archive this testimonial in Apollo. Cross-reference to all mentions of my name and Operation Enduring Victory. My name is General Aaron Harris. From 2060 to 2066, I served as the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, the highest-ranked officer of the United States Armed Forces. The tenure of my command included strategic planning and oversight of Operation Enduring Victory, a falsehood perpetrated on the civilian populations of the United States and other nations during the last 14 months of life on this planet. Before the Pharaoh Plague, I did my job and did it well. I was I should bold have a plague named after you. Crafty in political maneuvers. It wasn't an accident that I rose to my position and became the commander of the largest mechanized force ever assembled. But to what end? My only lasting achievement was the extinction of life on Earth. Well, and that was kind of more so Pharaoh. Yeah, I keep thinking this general is a little hard on himself. Days or weeks Seems like an alright guy, but like... By throwing more death at it. It is my hope it's not just him. That there will be no need for men like me in the world to come. I mean, if sure. you are one of the people of that future world, I am listening to this message. Please know that I am sorry, and that I wish you well. Thank you, Aaron Harris. Welcome to Hades, Zero Dawn's extinction failsafe protocol. Oh, this guy has a top on that. Okay. Killer app. Now. I know what you're thinking. The purpose of Gaia is to resurrect life. So why give her a subordinate function, only purpose of which is to wipe out life all over again? I mean, what the... what? Just plumb crazy, ain't it? Well, no, it isn't. Reconstituting a biosphere? That's a tall order. Tech smart as Gaia may be, odds are she won't get it right the first time. I mean, imagine you're Gaia. 200 years from now, and this new biosphere growing, it's all gone wrong. Alkalines are skyrocketing, coniferous forests eroding under the lash of superstorms that would have drowned Noah. It's chaos, spinning top that won't stop wobbling. Now, what are you gonna do? Release phase one organisms into that hot mess? Hope their CO2 and methane can balance out what you got started? Yes. Hell no. Okay. What you're gonna do, Gaia? Is step aside okay. while Hades takes over and does what you're just too darn nurturing and life loving to do, which is burn that misbegotten mess of a biosphere to the ground so Gaia can start over. Okay, not burn, more like reverse terraforming operations and suffocate it. But you get the idea. Hades takes the biosphere. You might remember this name zero, and this guy from some one, of the data points. Blank, yeah, sight, I do. He was the guy who wanted to watch porn. Only then does it hand the steering wheel back to Guy and say, Try again, old girl. And better this time, or we'll have to do this again. Okay. That's Hades. It's pretty badass when you think about it. Extinction on demand. Death on speed dial. All for the greater good, of course, but still, kind of metal. <laughs> so welcome to Hades. Welcome to the okay. Void. So we've got two different options. Okay, One. So, if that's the original purpose of Hades, why does it want me extinct? We need more data. Either Hades is actually How's working as intended. The of a pharaoh titan getting worshipped by the two, like some kind of Hades is malfunctioning. I'm learning as you are, Aloy. Either way, keep searching. Aloy would not want to let Hades keep doing its thing, right? Because fuck that. Because you know she would die. Okay, noise complaints from Travis Tate to Elizabeth Sobeck. Color me confounded, Lizzie. Bashcore? Anyone who knows the old TT codes to Bashcore is straight up lying. Or says the old... You know it. Old Trav don't have no truck... Come on, man, at least type properly. A truck with commercialized razzle-dazz. Nuh-uh. Heck, I'd rather guzzle a liter of Citerum <laughs> runoff than listen to Grace Swarm for 30 seconds, hand to God and swear on my mama's grave, and she was religious. No, that ain't Bashcore Blast in the Hades lab, shaking the walls, rattling through folks' teeth. It's death metal. Girl classic metal. 80s and 90s mostly. mostly. I mean, some Dutch deathcore, some Japanese gore grind, some Swedish cannibal themed stuff too. Stop by if you want to listen. Or heck, just come within 50 meters of the lab. Ain't no Bashcore you'll see. Or here, rather. 
in the screech that rends the air and feel in a throbbing pulse on the floor and the wall. Okay, lots of music. It's for the screen to turn down. No can do, Lindsay. This is how I code. Turn down my death metal. Might as well give up the stimulants. Chocolate malt, an industrial accident. It's Last I heard, we were supposed to be coding Hades down here. Am I really supposed to code an extinction protocol without death metal to inspire me? Nah, nah, I don't think so. Stay cool, trap. Okay, dude. That's pretty hardcore, I guess. This guy's weird. Tate here. Just popped three blues, but I earned it. Finally figured out a Goldilocks solution to guy who's rather extreme executive authority. If it ain't worth 10 to 12 hours of dream time, what is? For that, every usurp usurpation protocol I designed failed in simulation because it was either too hard or too soft. Too hard and integrated the Gaia core. Sure, it pried her figurative fingers off the figurative driving wheel so Hades could take control, but by breaking her fingers, sometimes her arms too, so that couldn't fly. Everything depends on Gaia taking control back after Hades has done its business, so I had to find a solution that didn't leave Gaia any worse for the wear. Too soft and Gaia only pretends to relinquish control. Simulation after simulation, the Hades would take command of the terraforming system and reverse options only to have Gaia lurk in the, lurk in the background, quietly re-reversing processes and falsifying telemetry to hide its interface. Sneaky. I swear ain't nothing Gaia wouldn't do to keep life going, even when it's just simulated plant life. Turns out that the just right solution is to isolate Gaia in a protective code shell, preserving its integrity, then unseat it from command position so Hades can slip into the figurative captain's chair and work its magic. Um, those blues are coming pretty strong now, so I'm not going to describe the dropping it clear, but pretty sure it'll work. Yeah, those blues are plenty strong. Guess I'll just have to sleep in bed. I'll get back to you tomorrow, alligators. Okay. So this guy is the Hades guy. Obviously. Alright, Travis Tate from... From... Oh, sorry. From Sabina to Travis Tate. And she CC'd Elizabeth to back because she wanted to be passive aggressive as fuck. This mail concerns Apollo Archive submission, whatever. You're 666. That's pretty hardcore, Chris. Submission in just five days. I know what a doozy. Despite earlier warnings, re inappropriate materials, we chose to submit 265 holographic remasters of acknowledged classics of cinema. Extreme exploitation cinema. Allow me then to. Thank you on two counts. One, for giving me the pleasure of rejecting your submission, thereby consigning your favorite Eastern European torture flicks and their ilk to the dust heap of oblivion. It truly warms my heart to know that I have saved humanity from the ordeal of experiencing not just one, but all 16 installments of making a millipede. Don't worry, the pestilating material has already been preserved. Extreme, perhaps, but art. Two, for clarifying a concept that has long been ambiguous and ethically fraught for archivists such as myself, the definition of obscenity. You are free me from subjective quagmire embodied in Judge Potter's famous utterance. I know it when I see it. Oh yeah, it's a, that is a quote that is relatively recent, I think, right? Like, that actually is a thing that happened in our time? Yeah. Yeah. I think it was about, like, pornography, I think, was the actual thing. Thanks to you, I can now apply a single objective criterion. If Travis Tate submitted it, it's obscene. Accordingly, I've proposed after some earlier reject all of your future submissions sight unseen. Perhaps you might invest the time you would have spent preparing further submissions on, oh, I don't know, your assigned work. We have a world to save after all, or the rest of us do anyway. Okay, well, that was really sassy, bitch. Maybe that also made him really pissy, so he decided to make Hades a little bit too strong. I hope not, because that would be kind of a dumb reason. Looks like the only way onwards. Welcome to Eleuthia, the crown and king of Gaia's subordinate functions. For it is by Eleuthia that the human race will continue to exist. I am Patrick Rochard Klein, the Alpha in charge of this program. I am from Quebec. I am clear from the outset. Eleuthia is not a genetic engineering project. Our goal is to preserve the human genome, not alter it. A snapshot of human genetic diversity, literally frozen in time. The genetic quintessence of our species, unmodified. Under my watch, our activities and initiatives will comply with the 2034 clone provisions and the 2048 rally accords. 
Now that may seem quaint, we had a debate about that once, Chris. To you in light of Absolutely. But that was on drinks and discussions, in case anyone was wondering. Ryan got drunk on his birthday episode. From trivial the first, and as of right now, only episode. The practical challenges before us are staggering in scope and complexity, but not insurmountable. Global collation and provisional storage of zygotes, perfection that was of mammals came technologies, from. design and perfection of servitors to provide nurture and inculcation. Okay, well, this guy's way more boring than everybody else. They probably shouldn't have put him right after Travis Tate. Components must and will proceed in tandem. To say nothing of the breakneck construction of cradle facilities at sites around the world. So. Si vous êtes prêt, let us begin. That was from French there. If you are ready, for those of you who don't speak French. From Patrick Brochard Klein to Elizabeth Sobeck, Cradle Sealed. Eleuthia 1 was successfully sealed before the swarm advancing across Xinjiang province could detect it. Ping back from crucial systems is good for our maiden voyage of success. Regarding my disputes with the betas over zygote selection, of course I understand we have limited overhead to run simulations of gene flow in our future humans, but we can all agree there is margin for refinement in future cradle populations. Donc, in addition to personally seeing <laughs> overseeing the completion of the Eleuthia O2 site inside Mount Namuli, I formulate proposed modified Zygo selection plan within the week. PBK. Oh, he shortens his name to PBK. That's cool. It's like HBK, but not as cool. You know what I'm saying, Chris? Oh, yeah. You know, we're clearly tired because our jokes are terrible at this point. Are they ever good? Yes. John is a staple of the top jokes out there. That's not true. The, uh, again from PBK to Elizabeth Sobek. The ect ectogenic chambers arrived two days ago. I spent the last 36 hours examining them and poring over technical documentation. The revelation astonishing. I don't know what they, what you had to give far as and trade to get these chambers, but it was worth it. In a single leap, their embryologists have all the past 50 years of technological shortcomings. The risks of ECMO resolved. Nutrition delivery resolved. Hormone stability resolved. Twelve other risk areas resolved. Before I examined these chambers, I considered the Odyssey to be a fool's errand. But if the rest of FZ's technology is at this level, well, a human colony around Sirius doesn't seem so impossible after all. Mass fabrications of the chambers will present a number of challenges, but I'm confident they can be resolved. I'm going to rest for a few hours, then get back to it. Expect a fabrication plan within 48 hours. Sure thing, dude. Are these what I what I think they are? Artificial wombs. Yeah. Machines to spawn a new generation of human beings. Oops. There we go. PBK to Elizabeth Sobek, Cradle Servitor Personae. Personae. Development of the artificial personae for cradle servitors. New nurturer disciplinary healer continues at a good pace. We are targeting Turing 0.4 for these constructs. This should allow low grade empathy and limited improvisation without undermining adherence adherence to codified behavior sets. The stimulus driven switching of personae, however, is proven a greater software challenge than anticipated. Especially considering the entrenched feedback loops between the disciplinarian and healer personae. I've also attached the reports of an incident where a server running the mother personae intervened in a disciplinarian server servitor's behavior, a parental argument, if you will. Amusing on first glance, perhaps, but deeply concerning. I've attached a comprehensive plan for correcting these interactive protocol shortcomings and just data corrupted. That's it for around here? Okay. Nope, that's not okay. Well, I could also just use the stairs like a boring person, couldn't I? Cradle facilities. Elizabeth said a new generation 
of humans would be spawned inside such places. She did. Oh, Mother Mountain. It was one of them? There's only one way to be sure. The hatch wouldn't open. Something, something about a corrupted alpha registry. I need to search Elizabeth's office. Yeah, maybe we can actually get inside of All Mother Mountain after that. That would be cool. Because <laughs> I'm assuming that's going to be like the big fucking memes, right? Like, it was right in front of you at the start. Your logic won't cut it, Ted. To pull this off, Gaia's going to need to have some skin in the game. It has to care. What if it runs amok? Have we learned nothing from our mistakes? Your mistakes, I think you mean? Who? Oh. I'm saying is. Give it a kill switch. She was just born, Ted. I'm not gonna put a gun to her head while she's still in the cradle. You talk like it's a child. What if it becomes a monster? Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? <sighs> of course, Gaia, go on. I'm sorry to contradict you, but Mr. Farrow's argument is sound. At this point, the development of my psyche is not entirely predictable. To ensure preservation of life, a hardwired override is, I believe, a necessary safeguard. But who would be there, there to guard it? Satisfied, Ted? Jeez, let's just do what it says. I don't... I'm kind of with Sobek on that one. Like, you have to go all in on this plan, right? Because you don't know what's gonna... Like, you're not gonna have somebody there to pull the kill switch. Because how the fuck would you? Everyone's going to be dead when it comes online for realsies. That would benefit from <laughs> that to locally more fall. Oops. Though Capric forms show superior load bearing capability. You're a quick study, Gaia. Dr. Sobek, as I have conducted this comparative analysis of mammalian morphologies, I've gathered extensive data on the Quaternary Extinction event. Oh? And your assessment? Gaia? Logically speaking, the extinction was a natural consequence. And yet... And yet... I get used to hold something... I find the loss of megafaunal species... Is got removed. ...unaccountably sad. That they passed forever into oblivion... ...causes me to experience... ...a grief... ...that is difficult to describe. Am I malfunctioning? <sighs> no, no, Gaia, you're not. This is good. It's very good. Okay. That's awesome. You will undergo a brief period of unconsciousness during relocation to Prime and final statement. Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? When you're back up and running at the new site, we'll bring the subordinate functions online and see where we stand. Elizabeth, I detect distress. Are you all right? I'm fine. I realize that circumstances compel us to launch earlier than we hoped, but all subsystems are operational. The odds stand in our favor. But what if... Guy, there's nothing left out there. You can't even survive unless you're wearing an environmental suit. There are billions dead in fear and agony. What if... What if it was all for nothing? Elizabeth, extinction was inevitable. Thanks to you, life will have a future. You really believe that? I believe in you, Elizabeth. In you, all things. Okay. Here it is, Chris. Mm -hmm. Odyssey has failed. It's not good. From Sobek to all Alphas. Some terrible news, I'm afraid. Far Zenith has informed me that the Odyssey mission has failed. Last night, Teleentry indicated a catastrophic antimatter containment failure as the drives spun up to depart the solar system. The ship, its crew, its cargo of zygotes and seeds, its alpha build of Apollo, all were lost. 
Zero Dawn is now the only hope for continuation of human species and earthly life. We must succeed, Elizabeth. Okay, so that was their way of getting off the planet and going to Elysium, or whatever they called it. Um, so they're they're gonna die now too. Yeah. Cool. From Charles Ronson. I don't know who that is. To Elizabeth So. It's coming along, Liz. I'm positive about it. If those words can still mean anything. Had my sleeves rolled up negotiating with frozen zoos for their samples. So many species trapped in ghoulish hologram dioramas. Spent in what ifs. More than 14,000 went extinct between 2000 and 2043. Started mapping out primary succession. Selecting the pioneer organisms for a balanced and sustainable biosphere. Microorganisms and insects. Rabbits and hawks. Foxes and wolves. Thousands more will have to wait their turn until our new generation can be entrusted with the duty of restoring them. So they can return to a world that this time will understand the concept of cons conservation before it's too late. There's already been too many too lates. We lost a whole collection team during the swarm breakthrough in Myanmar. The samples we lost were irreplaceable. Were well irreplaceable. But thanks to you, Liz, the circle of life will bend, not break. The Earth was a lifeless rock before, and someday it will be again. But not now. Not like this. Not in our watch. Ronson. Gonna hit us with some of that uptown funk. Oh hey, uh, a blue. Forget about traveling light. The Elsa Registry Master File. Intact? Yeah. No signs of corruption. Then what Excellent. are you That's what I need to get back into. Copy the file. With this. Restore the registry at the hatch inside Allmother. Hell yeah. Open it. Go inside. And grasp the secrets within. Where I was born. Maybe. Maybe who gave birth to me. Who? Are you really so naive? There will be no who waiting for you there, Aloy. Whatever birthed you into the world was a what, not a who. You bastard. Oh no, I had a legitimate birth. It's you, Aloy, who are the creation of the machine. <laughs> Damn. But what kind of machine and why? Why were you created? Eclipse. Okay, this is gonna be a longer episode. What you found is too valuable. You're too valuable. So why don't you do any of this then, Lance Riddick? Or at least come with me. Back me up like nil. Oh, fuck. Hello, Helios. <laughs> That's some blaze. That was a terrible throw. Still alive. Good. I have a more suitable death in mind for you, child. <laughs> Why did you step on my face? You're doing this part, by the way. Oh, I'm I know. Let you know. I've always known There's no way we're ending it now. I'm done with that. That I was destined for glory. As oh, I'm back in my outcast sun. clothes. Even when this sucks. Was murdered. Even when Meridian fell. I never doubted my death. Discovered the truth. Until you came along. Well, my focus is not with me. When I heard that with you me. had survived, a doubt took root in my mind. Hey, look, like, get in the lower bars, and sure maybe that'll be able to reach. And falls each day, those I am bade to kill die. And yet I failed. How? Why? Man, Joaquin Phoenix attacked, would play a great heel. Soldier, you killed <laughs> this pestering doubt. Fuck that dude. I kept thinking of the moment my knife. We got Forrest Whitaker, ScarJo, Joaquin Phoenix. A simple That's right. Tug of the blade. I still didn't agree with Forrest Whitaker. In How do you not agree with Forrest Whitaker? Too old. So I hesitate. Literally, they got like Cyrus is very old. 
He's like 60s. See that scar on your cheek? You didn't get to finish. Yes, I remember. He fought well for a savage. His name was Rost, and he was a better man than you could ever hope My to boy. be. The better man <laughs> is the one who doesn't end up with his guts steaming on the ground. No, that's results-oriented thinking. That's no. a really common mistake. It wasn't him. I could have finished you before he attacked. But I didn't. This failing troubled my thoughts. Haunted every step. It was only when I captured you, down in that place, that I finally glimpsed the sun's design etched at length across the course of events. You were meant to survive that day on the mountain. Meant to interfere at dig sites and kill my men. Conversely, I was meant to capture you. Here. So that you might die as a sacrificial offering to the sun. No. Everything. That's not gonna happen. As it was meant to be. Predestined and preordained. No. You're an idiot. A dangerous idiot. But an idiot. Yeah, fuck All you. All this talk of destiny and fate. I'm sure Hades speaks the same language, doesn't he? You're being played for a fool. Hades is an ancient machine. Not the buried shadow of Karja myth. It doesn't care about Meridian. It wants to kill everything and everyone. And you are its dutiful slave. I serve not the buried shadow, but the sun in shadow. All halves of nature joined to one cause. I'm really gonna enjoy shadow killing this guy. Dark to light. Do you really not hear how ridiculous that sounds? You've gone from serving an insane homicidal sun king to an insane homicidal machine. You're moving down in the world, not up. I'll remember those words as I watch your corpse burn. Whatever's left of it. You fail to grasp the point. As surely as you've been conquered, so has all doubt. And with certainty of belief comes unstoppable force. Yada yada yada. Open this cage and put your faith to the test. See if things work out like you expect. The circle has closed. Every element is in its proper place, exactly where it belongs. The errant beast, now caged, will serve her true purpose. A sacrificial animal. Oh, speaking of sacrifice, I forgot to tell you. After you crashed the Eclipse Network, I sent messengers into uh -oh. the east to rally the forces there and mount an invasion of the sacred land. I ordered every Nora killed. I was hoping to catch you there, but alas, it all seems to have been unnecessary. The Nora cast me out at birth. You're not hurting me if you hurt them. Really? Then it makes no difference one way or another. In any case, I couldn't recall the order even if I wished to. Thanks to your destruction of the network, communication over distances is impossible. You not only doomed yourself, but an entire tribe. Yeah, the Shadow Carja, though. Do we not see the scorching judgment of the sun in these events? Your focus, such a powerful device, isn't it? And yet, so fragile. Well, that was a dick move. <sighs> so you see, this time, I did not hesitate. The knife has already been twisted. I kind of needed that.
Raja Faithful. Rejoice! Our years in shadow are over. A new dawn trembles on the horizon. A new day, soon to break. And when it does, the false Sun King will be dead. And Holy Meridian, ours once more. In this, I have become an instrument of prophecy. All halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, light to dark, night to day. Behold! Hold your seats! Can you not see the proof of the sun's blessing before your eyes? How else could shadow such as these? Oops. In broad light of day. Was not ready for that. Were they not approved by the sun and joined to our cause? Many years ago, to consecrate this great ring, the radiant Turan ordered many faithless, crushed beneath the hooves of the behemoth. Mighty is the behemoth. My whole not having any stuff might make this a little bit difficult. Let this one who schemed and slithered be the first to die. Let her be the first of thousands. I don't suppose they're gonna give me my stuff. Nope. Alright. I'll never beat that thing without weapons. My weapons are up on the platform. There's no way out of this room. Maybe I could use. He didn't take any of my medicinal herb, Chris. I wasn't able to take a behemoth's charge either. You know what? Let's just. Uh, let's just uh, oh, menu not available right now. Never mind. I don't think I'm gonna be doing this in one try. I'm stuck. Okay. Well, I think we all knew that wasn't happening in one try. I mean, I didn't want to try, but yeah. Okay, Chris. Sorry. One of us played it hard. I thought you had a chance. Babs, you need to get the fuck out of there right now. You go by a wall. Sorry? Go by a wall. Yeah, he'll knock them into the. Another hit, and that pillar will come down. Jesus. Trying to, but he's not walking into them. It's a sudden dick. He's charging. It's down. Did she just wink? Hey, guess who got her weapons back? Mm -hmm. Now you're just a big dumb target. Come and get it! I 
I don't have my focus though, so because it is super broken. Freeze canister on its head. Free. I don't have cryo arrows. Not sure what you did there. Nobody is, Chris. I use terror, man. Yeah, at this point. Something to do with his lift attacks. That was about as close as I'm going to get. Gonna be able to loot it, or am I just like super fucked? Silence. Get fucked. 
fucked. Shadows. Kill her. Okay, so the corruption is with the shadows. Also, why do they think two corruptors would be able to do what one fucking corrupted behemoth could not? That thing was way tougher than those things are. Kill her! Why leave it to them? Come get me yourself! Did my boy come and save us? Yeah! Chris! Mm-hmm. New focus? Is that what that is? Or that was something else? No, that thing attracts certain machines. Friendly machines, yeah. Silence is an alright dude. So you're here. Really here. You risked your life. Of course I did. If you'd been killed, the Nora Sacred Mountain would never have given up its secrets. Too bad you wasted your time then. Helis destroyed my focus. And the Alpha Registry with it. Not at all. The whole time I've been monitoring your focus, I've duplicated every data file you scanned. Hell yeah. <laughs> Installing that data to a new focus was trivially easy. Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. <laughs> You're really good at making it impossible to like you, Silence. But I guess I need this. It's time to see where you were born. Maybe you'll even learn why. Yeah. Meet the machine that birthed me into this world. Isn't that how you put it? I'll be off. Wait. Oh, really? Yes. We're not gonna hang out for a bit? How did you track my location when I wasn't wearing a focus? Really, Aloy. It doesn't take a genius to surmise that Helis would throw you into the sun wing at high noon. I wore out two striders getting here in time, but I did. Now be on your way. Since when can you override machines? Ever since you discovered the technique. I had to destroy a corrupter to obtain the necessary parts, of course. But your example showed me how to do that as well. Yet another benefit of monitoring your activities through your focus. Truth be told, the underlying logic of the technique isn't so different from rites practiced by Banuk shamans. Though, of course, far more advanced. Great. You're welcome, I guess. Helis recognized you back in the Sunring. You told me that you'd assisted the Eclipse. Not that you knew the man who killed my... Who almost killed me. So now you know. The man is a serious threat. So let's do all we can to make sure that he and Hades don't succeed. Right. I'll be on my way. To make matters worse, Helis ordered an Eclipse detachment to attack the Nora Sacred Land. The tribe's already weak. They won't stand a chance. You should come with me. Well, absolutely not. I had preparations to make elsewhere. What kind of... Why do I bother asking? You're not gonna tell me. When the time is right, I'll be in touch. I'll contact you later. In the meantime, should you need to return to Shadow Carja territory, I brought armor to conceal your identity. Oh, cool. You think of everything, don't you? One of us has to. Damn. Hey, Lord. When you were recovering the Alpha Registry down in the Zero Dawn bunker, I was. Share place stops in five minutes. Oh, if we I haven't. Miss it. This episode's been almost an hour, but obviously we're just going to get to the next point. There's, There's point. no way you could cut this episode. No, no, totally. No way. 
Yeah. Oh, so let's get it to a uh, pit, and we're good to go. Yep. Are we anywhere near one? Or... Yeah, you should be. Yeah. It's also a fast travel to one. Yeah, but if it's one closer, then I'd rather just do that. Yeah, it's right here. Yeah. Literally right here. Got one. This next one's a great one, too. Oh, I'm looking for... Yeah, like the rest of this game, but... You're gonna that we're gonna have to wait like weeks. two fucking yeah. weeks for that shit, Chris. Yeah. Some garbage. Thanks for joining me, though, man. That's a long episode, but that was a good episode. It was a good episode, yeah. Yeah. There's no and way you everyone... can cut it, though, because honestly... No, I just... agree 100%. Like, there, there was no natural place to do it, and to be fair, we've been doing that for like three episodes. Hmm. But thank you everyone for joining us through that fucking marathon of an episode. We'll see you guys next time.